Members, that brings us to the last item on our agenda, agenda item number 11. This is a discussion item um, requesting the status of the Kalailoa Parklands transfer to the city and county of Honolulu. Um, and for this discussion item, um, it was brought forward oh, by Council Member Kobayashi, but we have Director Nakota here from the Department of Parks and Recreation. Deputy Director Ishikawa, thank you. Aloha Chair and committee members, Jean Ishikawa, Deputy Director for the Department of Parks and Recreation. Um, just a brief update on the Kalailoa properties, Barbers Point properties. I did have a conversation with the Navy BRAC yesterday and the Navy Base Realignment and Closure Program staff, and they are also still waiting as we are waiting. Uh, their last correspondence with the um, with the Advisory Council on Historic Preservation and the State Shipty Office was a letter that they sent dated April 29th. Uh, so the BRAC has not received a response to that yet. And so after our conversation yesterday, they are going to do a follow-up to the two agencies. The Advisory Council on Historic Preservation is based in Washington, D.C., and the local Shipty um, to follow up. In their April 29th letter, they did state that they support um, the transfer of properties that the Navy BRAC um, believes that, that they have fulfilled all procedural uh, requirements that was um, necessary to fulfill Section 106 of the Federal Transfer of Properties. Uh, and so they did s send that letter of support and they will be following up with a second letter asking for a confirmation. We also did have a brief conversation with the Department of Interior yes, on Monday and they also are waiting for correspondence. So there is a lot of follow-up that still needs to be done. Thank you, Deputy Director. Any questions, members? I had a quick question. Um, this is a follow-up in regards to Resolution 18-265, which was introduced by Council Member Kobayashi and Council Member Pine. And um, within the language of that resolution, it was um, the acquisition and transfer of these lands um, for the development of a raceway park. Can you provide the details of the d department's position on the development of the raceway park? As far as the Kalailoa properties that we'll, we will be getting, we are only in our feasibility study phase right now, so we are not um, looking at any other, anything beyond that at this point. We want to figure out uh, or find out, you know, what is on the properties and how we can move forward. After that, when we do enter the master planning process, we will have community meetings and, and it'll be many community meetings because it's a lot of, a lot of area. So that, you know, there's gonna be a lot of dialogue on these properties because it's 400 acres. So we need to engage um, a lot with the council, with the community, because there are a lot of ideas floating out there. So we're gonna wait until that time comes. Thank you, Deputy Director. Is there anyone else wishing to testify on this item? Please come forward and state your name for the record. Hi, my name is Les Valorano. I'm a resident of Oahu. I've been a resident for about 40 years now. And I would like to express support for Resolution 18-265 and also 18-73 to have a public racetrack at Eva Field. Um, I've raced myself here in Hawaii for many years and in other states. And one of the places that we did race at was Eva Field in the 1990s. Uh, and it, it worked well. Uh, there, I can't recall any noise complaints or any other complaints from uh, any residents in the area. Uh, it was closed down due to the September 11 attacks, um, so we haven't been out there racing for many years. And also, Hawaii Raceway Park had closed down in 2006. I was part of a group that tried to save the track, but uh, we were not successful in saving the old track. So this is an opportunity for the uh, county to develop a track on on Oahu, I think we really we need a track here, especially for the younger people, so they can have a place where they can race safely. Um, <clears throat> now, there's been talk of private efforts to build a track, and there's been several efforts, and they've they've all failed. And some of them failed very spectacularly. Uh, one of the problems there is the land use ordinance requires that the track be on commercial property. That would be like I2, I1, B, B2. This property is very expensive. So it just doesn't pencil out to have a private track uh, be profitable on Oahu. You know, Warren Buffett couldn't build a track here. So uh, we would hope that the county moves forward to uh, build a track here. When we tried to save the old track, uh, the state did set aside a million dollars 
for the racetrack. So there's possibilities for funding, funding from, the, from the state also for uh, an effort to build a track from the county. So I would hope you look at that. Thank you. Thank you so much for your testimony. Members, any questions? Seeing no questions, thank you. Is there anyone else wishing to testify on this matter? Please come forward and state your name for the record, please. Aloha, and thank you for inviting me to uh, speak here. My name's Paul Schwartz. I've been in, uh, involved with uh, SCCA Hawaii for this track that uh, we've been trying to get back. I actually helped uh, teach a lot uh, in the uh, community area with the police department with their cadets. We would give them uh, accident avoidance and uh, all the skid pad and everything else they used to need. Um, I'm just very much uh, aware of the problem. We only have the solo one, which is the uh, beginning area to bring our kids and community into controlling the way they drive. And uh, that's only at the stadium. And as you know, the stadium is going to be shut down and rebuilt, and there won't even be that parking place. And that was in the lower area. So they're actually just step by step, just eliminating it. So thank you for your time, and this is what we need. Thank you for your testimony, members. Any questions for a testifier? Seeing none, is there anyone else wishing to testify on this matter? Please come forward and state your name for the record. Lee Cobian, I'm here in support of Public Motorsports Park. And um, thank you, council members. Um, now, I, I submitted my testimony, I stand by my testimony. And um, a couple of things I want to acknowledge. Uh, the application to that property in 1999, of uh, this application that the city submitted, they acknowledged uh, car racing as one of the suitable uh, other recreational activities. Uh, because people were talking about, oh, you, there's no way you can race there. Well, they've been racing there. Navy was racing there, and they were racing in 1999, even with the city um, applied for it. And it's in the application. Another thing what I wanted to also mention is, because people have talked about having a sports, fitness sports complex there. Well, um, in my testimony, in May of 31, 2011, uh, the city sent out a memo saying that they, uh, this is exactly what it says, the department does not consider the development of a sports training facility described in the original application as being economically feasible. And um, so that's, that's in the application. Um, now in my testimony, I, I want to also uh, give your attention to, there's a website, uh, there's a link to a neighborhood board site visit that we went with the neighborhood board at the property. There was grave concerns about noise, that the homes were right across the street, that the shopping center was across the street. We actually went down there and the neighborhood board realized, well, where's the homes, where's the shopping center? I said, one mile over there, two miles over there. And they're like, well, what's the concern? You're right in front of an air airport. And I'm like, well, all those concerns were fabricated by people who are just opposing the sport. And uh, all that is in my testimony. Also, regarding the preservation area for the World War II section of it, it's the, our proposed area is not in that boundary. And we have an affidavit from a historian and executive director, uh, Brad Hayes of the Barbers Point Naval Air Museum. And he's wrote a book on images of aviation on that specific spot. And uh, I conclude. Thank you. Thank you very much for your testimony. Members, any questions? Seeing none, thank you. Is there anyone else wishing to testify on this matter? Please come forward and state your name for the record. My name is Douglas Phillips. I'm from Milani. I'm just here to support Lee Corbin on this public racetrack. It's been 13 years now. We don't have nothing. We get kids drifting out on the roads, kill the lady, hurt the lady up at Tantlis. It's getting a little too far. So, you know, every island has a track. I don't know what's the hold up, but why can't we have one too? That's all I'm asking. We pay taxes. We put up a lot of parks. We pay for it. We don't use that. We want the motorsport. Everybody has cars in their garage that wants to race. We're just asking for that. That's all we want. Thanks. Thank you for your testimony, members. Any questions? Next testifier, please. Uh, good afternoon. My name is James Rosado, and uh, I am support of a city track, too. Uh, basically, to take the racing off the public roads. I hear it every weekend. I live next to the freeway out in Makakilo. And it's a reoccurring thing every single weekend. Racing, racing, racing. It's not safe. I support it. And 
It's pretty much it. I really would like to see something get moving. It's been a long time. Thank you. Thank you for your testimony, members. Any questions? Is there any, anyone else wishing to testify on this matter? Please come forward. Aloha, my name is Edward Fiel, and I am a racer myself, and also a new father. And uh, I had recently bought a bike to ride on the street so I can get my need for that speed. But uh, I, it's quite dangerous. And now, being a new father, I don't want to die. So please open up this public track. Thank you. Thank you for your testimony, members. Any questions? Any final testifiers on this matter? Seeing none, members, we're in discussion. This is a discussion item, but is there any final discussion from the members on this item? Seeing none, members, I just wanted to um, bring Deputy Director Ishikawa back up one last time. Thank you, Deputy Director, for your um, update that you gave with regarding the acquisition. But as you can see from today, and I did want to thank the um, testifiers for sticking through and coming back after recess. It must have been a very long day for you, so thank you for sticking through it. But Deputy Director, as you heard from the testifiers, um, it's been 13 years since there has been a racetrack on Oahu. And... Um, most of the other islands, if not all, have a racetrack. So knowing the um, passion from these individuals here, and I'm sure many more, is there a way we could keep them apprised of the movement and then have them come to the table as soon as possible to discuss options for them in this development of a racetrack for Oahu? Sure, um, and we responded, actually we, we responded to a bunch of inquiries about that, that when we begin the master planning process, you know, we will have a lot of community meetings we have a lot to discuss on those parcels, so I think that's the, the route that we're going to be going at this point so that when we make announcements, everyone has the same information of the meeting time, place, and we'll move forward from that because it'll take a while to look at the 400 acres and work off of the feasibility study and begin the master planning. So that way, we're not meeting with just some people. We're opening it for discussion, uh, for dialogue with everyone because there have been a lot of suggestions, but we're gonna wait until we enter that master planning process. Thank you, Deputy Director, and I'm sure you might, must always have it, but if there's somebody here that might be a point person for Deputy Director, that might be a good opp opportunity just to get a feel of a person you can be working with for this okay. process. Sure. Okay. Thank you, Deputy thank Director. You. Again, thank you all for coming out this afternoon and for sticking through and coming back after recess. I know it was a very long day for you folks. I'm looking forward to um, further updates from the Deputy Director and the Parks Department to see how we can finally have some movement on this um, issue that many of you have been waiting over a decade for. So I'm very hopeful and um, look forward to um, more discussions on this matter. Again, thank you for coming back after recess and we'll stay in touch with regard to this issue. And with that, no further business, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>